Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys today? Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is MK Rules and today we are going to play Castle Clash and today I'm going to uh, see uh, what kind of things that you need to focus on to remain free to play because this game has become more towards pay to play. So in that kind of situation, of course, if you are a hardcore player and you want to access all the newest and the best heroes and all the uh, event heroes then by all means go ahead and pay for it but quite a lot of players like to be free to play but it's very hard so today we're just going to see what you can focus on to keep your resources and at the same time have a fun time playing castle clash and let's begin Now, the first thing here, uh, we're going to go through uh, all the events that is on your first page. So, we're going to focus on what are the free events that you can do. Now, here we have a creation machine. Okay, I got a karmic rock 6. And make sure to check the creation machine the next day. And let's go for Castle Clash sign-in. And this is my fifth day for logging in. So I'm getting a superior trade card and blessed tome tree. Now I'm going to go through all five here just to get a feel for which resources that you need to focus on more. Okay. So honor badges easily you can get. Uh, mastery essence also easily you can get uh, quest refresh card who uses it anymore uh, hero hire uh, I think for free to play this is uh, up to you you can go for this or you can go for superior trade cards this is one of the uh, hardest cards to get and one of the most hungry gems to uh, if you want to re-roll some traits if you want like attacking traits or dodge traits right, talent undercover let's go to the events okay hero collectors we have werewolf so now here i'm not going to bother doing all this unless it is a, a green hero and it gives me back honor badges like if I'm getting uh, books, blessed tomes, or any any kind of uh, prizes that I can get for what you call uh, to recover back the honor badges that I'm gonna use. Because here you can use honor badges or gems. Next, I'm gonna do. Hire hero, yes, we can go ahead and hire. Claim. Ah. Carnival cake. Okay, this is one of the, uh, if you are very uh, gem hoarding type, this is one of the events that you can do. So you can get most of the epic heroes that are listed until level 7 here so here we have level 10 runes hero official event cards we have magic powder demon stalker mad inventor water priestess and x punisher now here because of the epic heroes you need all these cards if you want to evolve or you want to uh, unlock their uh, what you call equipment so yes you do need all all their cards so here you can go as far as you want uh, let's see fountain all the others are closed okay let's sign in Collected. 
always watch the video so that you can get uh, double the reward double gems this is what we are aiming for the other one is not that important don't forget to collect your 50 percent and then if you are mostly you are in a guild get your guild take your title rewards okay now first thing first take your quarry and let's put in quarry i'm i always target the resources that are that are very uh, hard to get then we're gonna take our egg put our eggs and then collect the mailbox collect the friends collect forgotten trial spin the wheel if you have enough hearts then okay the quest spot is empty at the moment so if you want to watch just change it and see whether you have a hiring hero quest if you have a 150 gems hiring hero then you can use the watching video and get a free 150 gems next we're gonna check the bazaar and sometimes you have a very good deals for gem packs what you call if you want to spend gems and you can get a few resources from here next we're gonna check our blitz gauntlet okay we have done one we need three battles in hero trial okay okay first thing first let's complete a few of the daily tasks let's see consume okay we can do in we can do dungeon sweeps okay now uh, we can go ahead and sweep here be monsters I'm out of heroes to consume un unless I get a new hero. Let's go ahead and do once. Now normally I'll just go for two chests. I don't go for the third chest unless all these are easy to do. And this is already, f I have to do four raids here. So it's not exactly worth it. Let's take the place. Alright, now, now if you have not unlocked the fox this is one of the best ways to unlock it very fast and now let me show you my altar
that's my fox that I've unlocked. And I've got a hot shot. Ice lady. Cultist. And a rampart from uh, what you call event hero cards. Now today, after doing all that, now uh, let's go into my resources. Uh, sell it. Always sell the blue card. Uh, consume the green card. Uh, selling the blue card will give you twelve shots. If you if you consume the blue cards, you are losing around two shards per card. Now, as you can see, I have 397 full space out of 400. And today we're going to open up all the chests and most of my gift packs. Now, the first thing I'm going to open here is a bit of a resource management tool here where I'm going to go and open all the things that are not going to take up any space whatsoever in the warehouse first. So, soul stone trunk is not going to take up any space. Done. Next, pet bags is not going to take up any space. Very good. Next. Okay, this is insignia. Insignia we can open. We're gonna open all the insignia packs first. Let's go from the top. Nice. Well, IGG has to do a bit of a. They they have to give us a s proper space. In the warehouse. Right. Let's uh, open next. We have prime insignia chest. Now we are down to three eighty five. Okay, now let's open the crest box. I'm back. Igniting stone I already have. So this is not going to take space. Lucky. This is insignia back. This is also not going to take any space. So you do need a bit of a management. Now let's see what else we can open. Okay, now we can go for free for all. All right, let's go from the top. I'm going to open all the cards because now we need all the hero cards. I think they should they should they should do quick open one hundred chests immediately. This takes too long. <laughs> Sit down, get a chest. That's on chest number four. And number five. Okay. This is one of the most important chests in the game at the moment. Why? Because of in uh, what you call to uh, upgrade your talent to level nine and books and level five talent box. This is uh, uh, the other part is that the cards that uh, for the equipment, but it's not that important as much as these three things. Plus you have. Uh, what you call zenith stone for here you can 
this is one of the most important chess at the moment for you to to break through so let's open so this chess if you can get it for uh, quite that uh, when you do uh, what you call uh, any kind of any kind of uh, game rewards that gives this chess do it you're not going to regret it labyrinth chess i'll open right at the end let's move on to the next six is okay not not that good we have level five enchantment box we have gotten malice not that good hero skin scraps <laughs> Yeah, it's your skin. Okay, test. Mahatma. <laughs> now, I don't have Valiant Centers. Let's hope I can get Valiant Centers. Come on. Oh, I got two Rambat and one Hotshot. Well, we're going to... Next, hero skin. Mm, I have too much hero skin scraps. Come on. Yeah, IGG needs to quit. We have, we need to have one shot, 100 chests open. 100 bag you can open one shot. It just takes too long. Glorious chest. Excellent, yes, I'm gift. And this is one of the new chests. It grants the prestige badge. I have a mixed feeling about this prestige badge. I don't know what, what will happen. Whether they're gonna abolish the fame badge or the fame badge is gonna, how they're gonna do it. Uh, mixed feelings about it. Let's open the last of the last. Okay, now here EXP pack and labyrinth chest. Okay, EXP pack is going to give you all the three books the green book, the blue book, and the purple book. Now, this one you can't just open it just like that because you have a limit of 49,999 books. So, you do need to do a bit of maths before opening this. Now, here, Labyrinth Chess, here's something that I want to uh, put your attention. Uh, there's a Lavanika's Soul Stone, but it's a very, very rare chance. So, f to obtain this, uh, this is my, uh, I've already done another 200 Labyrinth Chess and I haven't got any yet. So this is one of the reason, and why I'm going for this is because of this. I have 189 Lavanika Soul Stone already, so I need 11 more to unlock. And this one I have gotten from what you call. Uh, the pirates, uh, the pirates booty, and a few, quite a few I've gotten from the, uh, what you call the balloon event. Uh, the uh, not balloon event, sorry. There's one event going on where you get uh, the bag of Lavanika, and in that I have unlocked. Quite lucky, I've unlocked thirty soul stone three times so I got a 90 soul stone from there itself and quite a few here and there from mostly from pirate, pirate booty and now we can go for here let's see if today we can get uh, at least one soul stone come on come on come on 
Well, we are getting the other soul stone. Haha. <laughs> this is one of the very, very hardest soul stone to get. Now next, uh, let's just open this very fast. Okay, next uh, I'm gonna put your attention why I'm doing Blitz Gauntlet. Now Blitz Gauntlet is gonna give you victory mark. And this victory mark you can use to buy Labyrinth Stamina Cards. Now Labyrinth Stamina Cards and you can use it to fight the goblins. And the goblin is going to give you the chest which you have what you call the Lavanika's soul stone. So yeah, there's quite a bit of farming involved. So we need quite a lot of it. All right, guys, thanks for t tuning in to my first ever Castle Clash video. Hopefully, this is what this uh, F2P guidance was helpful to you. And I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like the video, give it, give it a thumbs up. And if you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. Thank you very much for tuning in. Bye.